Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Essential Sound Panel to edit your audio. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. All right, let's do a little bit more work with my audio here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here, and I think I might... Oh, you know what? I still have that white balance example on there. I'm going to delete those two examples. And remember, I put that call to action there. I think I actually might put in our forest right in between there. Remember, if I hold control down, I can do an insert, <coughs> insert edit and add it in there. So I'll have the kind of the ending, a little bit of a forest shot, and then a call to action. That'll be kind of a cool way to end it. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and zoom out. What I wanted to show you is a little bit of audio work here. And you know what would be cool is if we added some music. So let's stretch this up and let's put in a music track here. So I think I gave you in the audio folder a music track. There we go. Drag and drop that in here. And it's going to be a lot longer than, than the overall project. And I believe at the beginning... It's going to have kind of a, it's going to take a second to start. All right. And feel free to go get your own music. Uh, you don't have to use mine. You can use any music you want. I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out a little by holding Alt down and stretching it out. There we go. Crazy audio. Okay, um, I might want to turn the volume down on that a little. It's a little crazy. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is, um, let's go ahead and bring this back down. Alrighty. All right. Um, as you can see, that that audio is a little loud, and it's when it gets to the point where it's so loud, it, it might be peaking. Um, all right. What we want to do, though, if we play this, let's unmute the, the voice. This is the challenge. There's the, the technical challenge of going up and over. Obviously, you can't hear a word I'm saying with that, so we need to fix that. Uh, Premiere Pro has added some really cool new features to do that with. Um, let's go to the audio workspace, and let me show you how this new audio workspace works. So first of all, you need to tell Premiere Pro what is what. So first of all, I'm going to select track one. Just going to come down here and click and drag across all the clips in track one, except for that very first one. These are all me talking. They're, it's all dialogue. So let's go to dialogue. And immediately, once you click on dialogue, you get all these different options. So for example, from the presets, you can say, hey, what kind of a, what kind of a, what, what's happening here? This looks like it's a male balanced voice. So I can tell it, hey, and it's going to change a bunch of these different things. Um, here's the repair. If you click on repair, there's noise reduction. Now we already applied a noise reduction, so I don't want to do that again. But I wanted to show you that you could actually, we could have done it right here um, in, you know, just by clicking on this and adjusting the, the noise. Um, okay. So there's all sorts of different things in here that you can play around with. You can say, hey, you know, I want to get creative. I want to warm up the voice a little. And it allows you to actually, I'm going to go ahead and mute the music. The technical challenge of going up and over roots and around trees and not, you know, crashing. But it's also out. So it allows you to, to listen to it and make those changes. So you can adjust things here on the fly. Alrighty, um, I think I wanted to turn this off because I already applied the, the noise to it, uh, noise reduction. All right, so now let's click on the music and tell Premiere Pro, hey, this is music. And actually, I forgot, I wanted to go in here and tell it this is ambient noise. And ambient noise is basically, you know, just background noise. Um, and let's see here, what kind of, I just want to actually turn that down. So let's turn it way down. Okay, so let's go back to the music, and here's where it's kind of cool. Uh, first of all, you can do a whole bunch of different things. So I want to be balanced background music. So in other words, I want it to go into the background. Um, and then this ducking, I actually want to 
show you um, a different way of ducking that. Did you see that? That automatically just dropped it way down. In a beautiful, quiet forest environment where I can get a... Actually, I might have backed it down too much. And maybe it's because I, I had reduced the volume earlier. Great workout in. See some beautiful scenery. Breathe some nice clean... Oh, huh. no wonder. I can't hear it because I've muted it. So let's try unmuting it here and try that again. Crashing, but it's also out in a beautiful, quiet forest. Okay, so much, much better. And then if we come here to ducking and ch turn this on, we can duck against, and then this says dialogue. So it's it's highlighted. So it's going to duck against the the um against the dialogue and if you scrub down here you can hit this create keyframes and remember we had created our own keyframes earlier i'm going to generate the keyframes and you'll notice that see how it put keyframes here and it put keyframes here so um it did that automatically just like we did on the first one the community promo one it said hey there's no dialogue here and there's no dialogue here so i'm going to add um keyframes there so check this out now i'll go to here it's going to be nice and loud. Drops My favorite it down. mountain biking is. Let's come here. It's nice and quiet. Unchallenging workout. Get off the couch and get out and ride. Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh. I think that is just so cool. And it might be kind of cool to actually add a little bit more here. I'm going to go ahead and generate that again. See how it brought, brought it back up. So it's not like you're, you're done. If you want to make some adjustments, you can really quickly, easily go in there, um, change something, hit generate keyframes again, and it will, it will adjust it. Um, and you can change, you know, change any of these things, the sensitivity reduced by the fades and then, um, generate the keyframes again. So that is basically, that's one of the new things in Premiere Pro 2018 April. So you might not have that feature. Um, if you don't have the auto ducking, that's fine. You still want to come in here and change it to balanced background music and you can adjust the volume right here. So you don't have to have the, the auto ducking to, to make this sound good and to understand how to work with audio, work with the Essential Audios panel and still meet the objectives of the exam. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.